G'day wildlife enthusiasts, welcome to the channel. Today we're embarking on an exciting journey into the wilds of Alabama. This state is known for its rich biodiversity and stunning landscapes, and we're here to explore it all. Today we're heading deep into the heart of Alabama to meet some of its most misunderstood creatures, venomous snakes. These fascinating reptiles play a vital role in the ecosystem, and it's high time we give them the respect they deserve. Now before you go jumping in the long grass, we gotta learn how to identify these slippery critters. It's crucial to know what to look for so you can stay safe while appreciating these incredible animals. We'll cover their distinctive markings, behaviors, and habitats. It's all about staying safe, you see, respecting these animals and their crucial role in the ecosystem. Venomous snakes help control pest populations and maintain the balance of nature. By understanding them better, we can coexist peacefully. We're gonna meet six of the most common venomous snakes in Alabama. Each of these species has unique characteristics and behaviors that make them fascinating to study. From the elusive coral snake to the formidable eastern diamondback, we'll get up close and personal with these remarkable reptiles. Crikey, this is gonna be an adventure. So grab your gear, put on your hiking boots, and let's dive into the wild side of Alabama. Whether you're a seasoned herpetologist or just curious about the natural world, there's something here for everyone. Stay tuned as we uncover the secrets of Alabama's venomous snakes and learn how to appreciate their beauty and importance in our world. First up, we've got the Copperhead. These fellas are the most common venomous snake in Alabama. You'll find them all over the place, from forests to backyards. Now the Copperhead is a master of disguise with that copper-colored head and those hourglass-shaped markings. They blend right into the leaf litter, so you gotta watch your step. Their base color can vary from tan to a reddish brown. Remember, these beauties are venomous, so admire them from a safe distance. Next up is the Cottonmouth, also known as the Water Moccasin. These guys are the real deal. They love hanging out in swamps, rivers, and wetlands. Now, the Cottonmouth has a nasty bite. Their venom can cause some serious damage. They're easily recognizable with their jet black scales and those faint markings. But the real giveaway? The inside of their mouth is bright white, hence the name Cottonmouth. If you see that flash of white, back away slowly. Now we're talking. Let's dive into the world of one of the most fascinating creatures in the forest. The timber rattlesnake is one of three rattlesnake species found in Alabama. These snakes are a vital part of the ecosystem, playing a crucial role in controlling the population of small mammals and other prey. They are often misunderstood and feared but they are truly remarkable creatures. These guys are the real deal with a venomous bite that demands respect. Their fangs are like hypodermic needles, delivering a potent venom that can immobilize their prey almost instantly. This venom is not just a weapon, but also a tool for digestion, breaking down the tissues of their prey to make it easier to consume. They're found in hardwood forests and cane thickets where they blend in perfectly with their surroundings. Their camouflage is so effective that you could walk right past one and never know it was there. They prefer these dense, vegetative areas because they provide ample cover and a steady supply of food. You'll know it's a timber by that distinctive rattle, and their tan base color with dark brown markings. The rattle is made up of a series of interlocking segments that create a buzzing sound when vibrated. This sound is a warning to potential threats, signaling that the snake is ready to defend itself if necessary. Remember, these snakes are just trying to warn you off, so if you hear that rattle, stop dead in your tracks and give them a wide berth. They don't want to bite you any more than you want to be bitten. By respecting their space and understanding their behavior, we can coexist peacefully with these incredible creatures. Timber rattlesnakes are also known for their patience and stealth. They can lie in wait for hours, even days, for the perfect moment to strike. Their hunting strategy involves ambushing their prey, using their keen sense of smell and heat-sensing pits to detect the slightest movement. These snakes go through a fascinating process called shedding where they periodically shed their old skin to make way for new growth. This process not only helps them grow, but also removes parasites and other harmful organisms from their bodies. During shedding, their eyes become cloudy, and they may become more reclusive and defensive. Conservation efforts are crucial for the survival of timber rattlesnakes. Habitat destruction and human encroachment have put pressure on their populations. By protecting their natural habitats and promoting awareness, we can ensure that these magnificent snakes continue to thrive in the wild. Education is key to changing perceptions about timber rattlesnakes. 
programs that teach people about the importance of these snakes in the ecosystem and how to safely coexist with them can make a big difference. When people understand and appreciate these animals, they are more likely to support conservation efforts. Timber rattlesnakes are also fascinating in how they adapt to different seasons. In the winter, they retreat to dens to hibernate, often sharing these spaces with other snakes. As the weather warms up in the spring, they emerge to bask in the sun and begin their active season of hunting and mating. During mating season, males can travel long distances in search of females. After mating, females give birth to live young, which is unusual for reptiles. The mother will stay with her young for a short period, offering them some protection until they are ready to venture out on their own. The timber rattlesnake is truly a marvel of nature, a symbol of the wild and untamed beauty of our forests. By learning more about these incredible creatures, we can appreciate their role in the ecosystem and work towards a future where they continue to thrive. Don't let the name fool you, the pygmy rattlesnake might be small, but it's still packing a punch. These little guys are rare in Alabama, mostly found in the southern counties. They've got a gray base color with dark brown spots, and yes they do have a rattle, albeit a tiny one. Even though they're small, their venom is potent, so give them the same respect you would a larger rattlesnake. Now here's a snake that needs no introduction, the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. This is the biggest venomous snake in Alabama, and they can grow up to a whopping 8 feet long. You'll find them in the southern coastal plains, and they're hard to miss with their distinctive diamond-shaped pattern. Despite their size and reputation, eastern diamondbacks would rather avoid confrontation. Give them space, and they'll leave you be. Last but not least, we have the eastern coral snake. This beauty is highly venomous and easily recognizable by its vibrant red, yellow, and black bands. But here's the catch, they have a non-venomous look-alike, the Scarlet King Snake. Remember the rhyme? Red touch yellow kill a fellow, red touch black friend of Jack. If the red bands touch the yellow bands, it's a coral snake and you need to steer clear. So there you have it folks. We've taken a fascinating journey through the world of Alabama's venomous snakes. A crash course on Alabama's venomous snakes. From the eastern diamondback rattlesnake to the cottonmouth, each of these creatures plays a unique role in our environment. Remember, these creatures are an important part of the ecosystem and they deserve our respect. Snakes help control pest populations and maintain the balance of nature. If you encounter one in the wild, admire it from a distance and let it go on its way. Observing these reptiles in their natural habitat can be a thrilling experience, but always prioritize safety. And if you ever find yourself in a sticky situation with a snake, don't try to be a hero. It's crucial to remain calm and avoid sudden movements that might provoke the snake. Call a professional to handle it. Wildlife experts are trained to deal with these situations safely and effectively, ensuring both your safety and the snake's well-being. Stay safe and remember, knowledge is the best tool you can have when adventuring in the wild. Educate yourself about the local wildlife, carry a field guide, and always be aware of your surroundings. Education is key. Teaching children about the importance of snakes and how to safely coexist with them can foster a lifelong respect for these reptiles. Community workshops and educational programs can also be great resources. They provide valuable information on how to identify venomous snakes and what to do if you encounter one. In today's digital age, there are numerous online resources available. Websites, apps, and social media platforms offer a wealth of information on snake identification and safety tips. When hiking, use a walking stick to gently move brush aside. This can help you avoid surprising a snake and give it a chance to move away. Wearing appropriate clothing such as high boots and long pants can also provide an extra layer of protection. Before setting up camp, always check the area for snakes. They often seek shelter in cool shaded spots so be mindful of where you place your tent and gear. When exploring, be cautious when lifting logs or rocks. Use a stick to check underneath, as snakes may be hiding there. It's also wise to carry a first aid kit and familiarize yourself with basic snake bite treatment. Quick and calm action can make a significant difference in an emergency. In the event of a snake bite, seek medical attention immediately. Call emergency services and try to stay as calm and still as possible to slow the spread of venom. Alabama's diverse wildlife is a treasure, and snakes are an integral part of this natural heritage. By respecting and understanding these reptiles, we can coexist harmoniously and appreciate the beauty of our environment. So next time you're out in nature, remember to respect the reptile, stay safe, 
stay informed, and enjoy the wonders of the wild.